afternoon and welcome to another session of Teams in 20. Today, uh, back by popular demand is our Daria and we're going to be talking about Microsoft Stream. I'm going to hand straight over to you uh, to tell us what's on your agenda today, Daria. Lovely. Hello, everyone. Um, thanks so much for joining us today. As always, um, if you've joined the previous sessions, hello. If you haven't uh, joined the previous sessions, it's the first time, hello uh, to new joiners. So for those of you joining for the first time, uh, my name is Daria. I'm a cloud solution architect aligned to model work. This is probably the fifth time you're seeing me, if I'm counting it right, uh, during the lunch and learn. So, so far we've covered some um, productivity tips with Viva Insights, how to protect your time, how, how to protect your well-being as well, loop components and lists. Um, so thank you for attending those sessions if you have to. If not, uh, head to our YouTube channel and, and go have a look at those. But the start of our show today is going to be Microsoft Stream. Um, and as usual, I will start with a brief overview of Stream on SharePoint and then swap to a live demo environment and showcase the tool. So we're going to create together a video on stream. We'll see some stream functionalities when you when we do create that video um, and also how to record a meeting in Teams and how to record your PowerPoint presentation. So let's get started. But before that, why are we using videos as, as a tool to convey a message? And if you think about it, if a picture is worth 1,000 words, a video might be worth 10,000 more. So if you're looking at some key data around that, around 75% of people are more likely to interact with a video rather than reading through Word documents, rather through uh, reading emails or web articles. I know that's the case for me. But if you think about it, we consume information today in so, so, so many different ways. Um, some of us conduct our learning solely by watching videos or listening to podcasts while doing something else. Uh, some of us prefer going through a Word document and just highlighting important information. Um, so being flexible about these two things makes these two worlds meet. Um, and that's exactly what we're aiming towards. Data also shows us that we process a video much faster than text, and it's not just because we're processing the data. We engage more and we retain that information more accurately through videos. But what is Stream? Probably already know that, so I'll start with a formal explanation. Microsoft Stream is a service that makes it easy for you to securely create, to share, and view and manage videos within your organization. So either you want to send a video message or create a how-to video because you want to help with the onboarding of, of, new, um, of new employees to catch up on what you've missed with a Teams meeting recording. Stream helps you share that knowledge and also collaborate with the flexibility through video. If I'm providing you an informal explanation, it's like YouTube, but it's YouTube for organizations. And last, this last slide before we jump into the demonstration. So in general, employees use video in their everyday communication to either learn or to catch up on meetings that they might have missed because of other commitments. When you think about the admin part of it, there is an admin struggle to keep their organization video secure, to govern and to keep them governed and to keep them compliant. So being part of the M365 ecosystem addresses both these two re requirements to keep the videos of the organization secure and governed and compliant. So Stream on SharePoint is kind of rethinking that traditional approach to, to enterprise video, which used to be Stream Classic, is built on the same storage platform that all other content types um, use, right? So stored on SharePoint and on, on OneDrive, like all the other documents that you use, whether it's a Word presentation or a Word document or a PowerPoint presentation or an Excel spreadsheet, they're all together. So it's as easy to record a video and share it to Teams or via an email as it is to share any kind of documents that you might collaborate on. So a stream on SharePoint is still about those jobs, some, some uh, about the same core jobs that Stream Classic was about. It's still about organizing video, but now you can do it your way. It's also about consuming video, but again, you can do it in context this time. It's still about creating the video, but it can happen everywhere right now. It, it doesn't happen just in Stream. It can happen in Teams as well. You can record and send a video of yourself in, in Teams, but that's just one minute long, and I'll show you how. Uh, I hope we're going to have time because you can spend quite a lot of time to speak about Stream. It's a very cool tool. But let's move on to the live demonstration. So we are in the office portal, right? So where you find all the applications under your Office account, uh, similar to what I've shown you with lists as well. So I go to the nine ellipsis, I click on stream, and this is going to take me to the platform. 
It opens up in the home page, similar to anything else. You can see already a video with myself here and a few other things that I have on the home page. So right here, you will see the frequent and the favorite streams. You can always mark a stream as your favorite if you'd like to, and it's going to show up here. But you will not only see the ones that you have favorited, you will also see the ones that you have frequently opened. So as you can see in this case, I frequently open the monthly leadership keynote as well. And if I scroll to the right, I can see what I've edited, I can see what I've opened, and I can see my favorites as well. There are quite a few. Actually, I need to tidy this up when I have some time. If I scroll down a little bit, I'll see all of the streams that I have access to, whether I've edited, whether I've frequently opened this, if I've shared this, you will see the activity related to that stream in, um, in here, and also the streams that I've created or the ones that I want to watch. Now, if I look at the three functionalities that I have um, on, on the upper page. First of all, I can upload a stream that I might have saved on my device. So if I click on that and I go to camera roll, you'll see that I have this video of myself when I, I don't even remember when I recorded that, but I will open it and I will add it to my stream. It's my, it might take a while, but it will be added. So you will see I have a meeting with MOD administrator. That's me for today. My name is not MOD, but for today I will be the MOD administrator and you will see that I've just added this now. If I click on recording, this is where the magic happens. This is where you become, you can become YouTube stars. So I will close my camera on here, open my camera here. I have blurred a background. You can always choose the background that you'd like to, by the way. It's 15 minute maximum, so I'll just click on record. And I'm on the way of becoming a YouTube star. Now, if you want to see me like positioned as the central, you can do that, but I can always appear here. Hello. Or here. Hello. So this is where I, what I can do when I present or when I want to record myself to maybe um, it's a how to video for people who are joining the company. And this is the background that I'm using now, but I can always change it and go to use a video or anything else as a background. I'll go to my camera roll, well, to my pictures actually, and I will add this data governance on the background. So my purpose is for you to see this slide. So I'll just move myself to the left center and I will speak about the information on this slide because I want to train new employees on data governance prior to they joining the company. So I can keep on speaking about the governance, the data content, the data quality, the data access. I have some options here on the left, on the right hand as well. So I can add text if I want to. I can draw here as well if I want to. I'm not good at drawing, unfortunately. Um, I can add a sticker if I want to. I love speaking about data governance, so I feel like an angel when doing that, so I'll just add it here. If I want to add a frame to that, well, it might be a little bit too much, but if I want to make it a colorful presentation, I can definitely do that, and I have some options to choose from right here. But for now, let's just stick to this data. I can also add some pictures if I want to on this specific slide, and if I want to record myself without a video, I can definitely do that, and I can just go for an audio and just do exactly the same things as I've done before. But obviously, when I do this, I will just finish this. When I move to the audio, it has finished automatically, so I'll just click on review. And you can hear me speaking about the data governance, introducing myself and so on. So I can confirm, I can trim my video if I want to. So if there's anything that I do not want to include in my in my, um, in my my clip, I can trim the video from here. I can also delete it if I don't believe I was good enough for this video and I want to do it again. And if everything is all right, I will just click on confirm. And this is uploading now to my stream platform. I can always download it if I want to and it's going to be saved to my device as well. So I, while this is uploading, I will go back and access a video that I want to see, I want to catch up on. So I'll go to the monthly leadership keynote. I need to stop this because I'm speaking too loud and too much. Right, so this is a video which has been recorded by colleagues of mine, and I want to keep track of what they're speaking about. Well, that, actually, this is not the best example. Let me find a different one. Right, amazing. So 
This is again, it's a STEAM partner HIPS. Um, this is a video that I that has been recorded uh, by the company and I have a few video settings as an owner of this video, even though I haven't recorded it myself, I was added as an owner to this video. So there's a few things that I can edit using the video edits. First of all, I can add a thumbnail to this one. If I don't like the thumbnail that has been added already, I can upload a new one whenever I want to. If there is a video that needs uh, transcript and captions. I can generate the transcript and captions for this one just by clicking on generate and I can also choose the language. In this case, I will just leave it to English United States and click on generate. If there's a longer video, for example, you're recording a meeting, which is a one hour long meeting and it might be tedious for people to just try to find the content, the part that they're interested in. You can always add chapters to your to your meeting. And this in this way, you'll simplify it for people who are viewing the recording that you have just done because it's going to be there. They're going to be able to skip and go exactly to the part that they are interested in and save some time. Going back to videos, you can always see the analytics of, of your video as well and the noise suppression in this case, if it's obviously if it's uh, necessary for your recording. And if you are an owner of this one, you can always add a description what's happening in this recording so that you would help people have an idea of what they're looking at. So in this case, I'll just go demo recording. But you can add as much detail as you'd like here. Great. Now let's go back to the platform and I'll click on a different one this time. First of all, I can see where this is saved, the location where this is saved. Again, I have the video um, settings here, the comments as well. If I want to start a thread in this case, I can definitely do that. So this is where all the, if you record a meeting in Teams or if anyone else records a meeting in Teams, it will show up on the stream on your personal stream. So you will be able to catch up on everything that you have might have missed on Teams specifically. Now, what I want to do is to show you how you share this recording. Again, this is myself explaining a little bit more about stream. So if I want to share this video with someone, I can definitely do that by clicking share. I can allow people to edit this recording if I'd like to, or I just want them to view that edit. It's obviously up to me. I already have some people who have access to this link and I want them to view. I can either add them here and add a message or copy the link and send it to Teams specifically. And if I want to share externally, I can definitely do that just by clicking on this icon here. I can share it with everyone if I'd like to. I can share it with people in Contoso. That's my organization. People that I specifically choose or people who have already received access to this one. I can block the download of this recording. So if I'm sharing this externally and I do not want my customers to download this, I just want them to be able to view it on the web portal. I can block the download or I can just allow them if they want to upload this on their intranet, for example. And I can also give them edit option and um, edit access if I want to, but this is not the case um, and usually. So I just allow them to view and I will apply. Right. There are two last things that I want to show you. I'm conscious of time, uh, but if we go to the Teams app, you can always add a recording to Teams. You can always record yourself on Teams. So if you go to calendar, I'll just start a meeting with myself now. Let me find a background. And I'll join. I can record my meeting and transcribe from Teams. And this meeting that is recorded is being recorded now in Teams. It will be automatically saved to OneDrive and automatically saved to the stream uh, to the stream platform. So I'll just leave this call. Once I leave this call, the meeting is going to be automatically ended. So the recording is going to stop. And the last thing that I want to show you is that you can record your PowerPoint presentation. So I'm going to jump to this my, uh, Microsoft Stream presentation. It's the longer version of today's call, and I want to record this presentation as a training session. So I click on record. This record is going to be automatically transferred to my platform. You can see me here in the right corner as well, and I can speak about my slides. Um, and I also see the notes when I do that. This will not appear in the recording. You'll only see the slides. But for me as a presenter, it would be great to speak about it and have the notes available to myself. 
So I'll just move through the slides as well. If I don't want people to view me, I can just use the audio version. And you will see all the information and the notes that I have added to my slides. Again, if I click on record, this will create a stream that people will be able to access whenever. This is something particularly useful when it comes to onboarding, uh, whether it's interns, whether it's graduates or new employees, you can save quite a, few, a lot of time by just using stream, creating videos, and then sharing your knowledge with your peers. That would be um, it from my side. Again, it, when it comes to stream, there are many, many things that we can speak about, but we hope that we have raised the interest in your case and then you're gonna go have a, uh, a go at it. Um, and yeah, and start creating videos and become a star yourself. And that is it from us today. So have a lovely rest of the day. Bye.